This is Jason at Conveyor, and in this video, I'm going to show you two updates that we've made to lessons. I'm going to show you one update that we've made to campaigns, and then I'll show you a third update to all the dates in Conveyor, an easier way to navigate through changing dates. And that's whether you're in automations, campaigns, wherever you are, it's much easier now. So let's get started. First, if you go into a lesson, you just navigate into your lessons. In your left lesson item area, you'll scroll down to the bottom and at the bottom you'll see that there's type form. This is a type form widget, which means that if you have a type form document or a type form form, you can now surface it to your learners uh, by using this integration. So you're gonna use the form ID and let me show you how to get the form ID in your type form. Let's say that you're working on your form. As you look at the browser line, it'll say form slash and then have a jumble of letters and numbers that's your form id so just double click it copy it and then drop it right in here now as you see there's an automatic filling in of all of this information you need to change your form id but we've already filled in the button text for you in the success message and then we also have these key value pairs so this is the way for your form to identify who it's talking to you don't have to have these but it's helpful if you do want to uh, to, to show the person that you're talking to that you know who they are. And so let me give you an example of what that looks like. I'll save this and I'll test it. And then as I open it, notice it says, Hi, Bard Kukilski with Contact Portal of, and it tells me exactly who I'm looking at. But that's what, because these are filled in. And so the system recognizes who I am and it's reaching out to me. Next, let's talk about audio um, lesson items and a change that we've added here we now have must listen so if you have this selected that means that your learner can't scrub through or skip over any of the content they have to listen to the content in order for them to get a passing grade so really small and subtle thing but it's a big deal because sometimes people want to skip ahead and you know that's not cool all right now let's jump over to campaigns and we're going to do this by going campaigns using conveyor commands which i love you should be using conveyor commands if you uh, aren't already and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click onto a campaign i'm going to go over to content and this latest update is a change to passing grade required now you can require that the student the learner the contact the rep whoever passes with a specific grade so simply click on that toggle it open and then set the grade value between zero and 100. i want them to have a, at least a 90 in there okay so um you can also add a failure message if they didn't pass, you know, sorry, or sorry, 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 or you can uh, select this box right here, and this is going to give a failure GIF image. Now, it's going to lighten the blow. It's going to be funny, random, and business safe, and so let me show you what that looks like, and here's an example of that passing grade. Surely, you can do better. It shows the score. Uh, the passing grade, I have to have 100. It shows my grade as a 72. It's because I'm dense, guys. I just don't get it. Now, let's jump into the final update, which is on a date. So how do you change dates? In the past, you used to have to select an item, and then you would have to scroll through like this to select your date, which was really difficult if you had to go through a whole lot of numbers. Now, simply hover over the date itself, and then you can select the option right here of the month that you need and change the date by selecting the date. And it's that simple. Let's just leave it where it is, May 22nd, 2020. So that's it for 2021. Be on the lookout for other changes and updates as we move along into the close of this year. Hope you guys have a safe and happy holiday. Cheers.